Waking up at 12 midnight is necessary if you want to catch the most spectacular sunrise from the summit of Mount Fula. Hi! Hi, Good Vlad! Morning. Is this going online? Yeah, but I don't know when. <laughs> Gonna take first, so I'm gonna finish Quick this. breakfast is also important to at least have some much needed energy because no other food is available along the trail. Unless you carry enough trail foods and water to make you last until you return to the ranger station. Everyone is prepared with some layers of jackets to combat the chilling temperature from the highest altitude of the sun and binget which known to drop up to the negative degrees. like to be all with your great creation. Uh, bless each and every one of us and uh, keep us safe. And this we pray, uh, bless our guides and um, uh, that they would be able to help us through our journey. And this we pray in Jesus name. Amen. 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 All right guys. Eh? So our, our motto, take nothing but pictures, leave na kill nothing but time, leave nothing but footprints. At exactly 1 in the morning, we begin our hike. Trail in this part is pretty easy up to the camping site 1. From Camp 1, the trail inside the Mose Forest requires a minimal effort as some part is muddy and wet. You have to be extra careful as well with the slippery rocks because most of this is covered with moss. Continuous ascent make us reach the camping ground at 3 a.m. Then proceed along the grassland trail until we reach the summit at exactly 5 a.m. So it's already 6 in the morning with uh, about 7 degrees Celsius temperature. Nandito na kami sa may summit ng Mount Pulag. And the light show is about to start. Ayan na yung sunrise. Yan. So napakaganda niya dito. So nag-isolate muna ako. Umalis ako doon sa maraming tao. Ayun yung pinakasamit actually sa, ta sa taas ko. Then bumaba muna ako dito ng konti. Kasi masyadong maingay doon. daming tao din. So, ayun. 5am kami dumating dito sa may summit. Which is okay lang. Mabilis yung facing ng group na kasama ko dito nag-hike. And wala kami masyadong pahinga. Or, or break with, along the trail. So, lumiliwanag na. Kanina ang dilim pa dito nung pagdating namin. Kaya nagtago muna ako dun sa may bushes. Sa ilalim ng mga ano, mga dwarf bamboo. Ngayon. In this case, parang maganda yung clearing this time dito sa Mount Pulag. Then yung sea of clouds naman, ayan, nagsisimula na rin silang mag-form. No? Yan, may back. Ikot ako. Yan. Nagsisimula na rin mag-form yung sea of clouds. Yan. At the height of 2,926 meters above sea level, Mount Pulag is the third highest mountain in the Philippines and the highest mountain in the island of Luzon. Mount Pulag 
is considered as the sacred grounds of the Ibaloy people and the other ethnic groups around the area. The entire mountain is believed to be the home to the Tinmungaw spirits, thus having its nickname as the Playgrounds of the Gods. to go down na from the summit guys napakaganda talaga ng Mount Pulag as in hindi ka magsisisi yan ang ganda niya dito like napaka perfect talaga look at that view napaka surreal ng experience of course this is Mount Pulag, the highest mountain in Luzon. I'm so happy. It's experience, of course. amazed by this wonderful creation, we begin to descend. This time, we get to see the picturesque trail and view that we ignore during the ascent, as this place is covered with complete darkness. Rolling grasslands and foggy trail covered with dwarf bamboos and grass make the ascent more enjoyable and relaxed. You will be disrupted by the view and of course, the fun with the fellow hikers. Pababa na kami ng Mount Pulag. Nandito na kami sa may grassland. Ayan, from the summit. It's masaya, maganda. Napakasarap ng experience. Actually. sa may grassland. Actually, yung grassland na ito marami siyang dwarf bamboos na tinatawag. Ayan no yung. Akala mo damo lang siya pero ano siya, mga dwarf bamboos. Ayan, ayan yung mga kasama ko sa likod. Nauna lang ako ng konti para makapag-vlog. Ayan, lumalabas na rin yung araw. So, maya-maya lang nito, mas mainit na siya. Pero, hindi eh. Kahapon malamig eh. Pagdating namin dito, kahit maaraw malamig siya. So yung outfita natin pang winter winter tayo kasi 7 degrees celsius lang yung temperature dito sa Mount Pulag huh? ang sakit nya sa tenga actually kanina ngayon medyo nag warm na ng konti kasi may araw na Just always remember that this mountain is sacred and any noise is discouraged as a respect to the spirits of the God that wander in this mountain but also to give respect to our fellow hikers that wanted to hear and feel the sound and music of nature. That is not a hard concept at all. Camping ground too is the breaking point between the grassland and the mossy forest. This is the most ideal camping place if you plan to camp out in Mount Pulag. We didn't enter the mossy forest trail. The mossy forest trail is enchanting as mostly is covered by lichens, ferns, and moss. We are now 
inside the Mossy Forest Trail. This Mossy Forest is from Camp, camp 2 to Camp 1. That is about 2 hours of walking with a little rest and some picture taking. I enjoy the mountain forest. It is also home to large diversity of flora and fauna, many of which are endemic to Mount Pula. So we are halfway through the ranger stage, ranger stage na actually. And dito pa rin kami sa may loob ng Mossy Forest. And in a while malapit na kaming lumabas dito. So mataas na yung sikat ng araw. So late yung araw nagpakita this time. Kaya medyo gloomy uh, yung feeling dun sa may summit, sa may grassland. Ganun. So for those who don't know, actually, uh, Mount Pulag is the third highest mountain in the Philippines and this is the highest mountain in the island of Luzon. It is measured about 2,926 meters above sea level before it is considered as the second highest mountain before the remeasurement of Mount Dulang Dulang in, in Mindanao. Almost 10 a.m. when we reach the Fine Forest Trail. Here you get to see the terraces of vegetables farm carved around the mountains. You have the option to ride a habal habal back to the ranger station if you want, but I prefer to walk because I want to experience the whole Pulag adventure. We arrive at the ranger station at 11 a.m and have our lunch and prefer to leave. One PM when we leave the ranger station and directly drive our way to Manila and skipping the side trip to Baguio. Of all the countless mountain I hike, Mount Pulag is nothing but extraordinary, wonderful. The entire experience is a great treat that makes the long journey worth it. I salute to all the people who put up great efforts to protect and preserve the Mount Pulag to its pristine solitude. This mountain would always be on my bucket list again and again.